Okay. Started. So yeah, welcome to our simulator. Sorry, let's make that through here. And turn this around. Okay. Okay, so this is a 737 okay. simulator. Uh, basically the engines are started, so we okay. don't have to waste time starting up the engines. Alright. Uh, but we have so we do have to go through a few things, okay. which is the uh, we're gonna do an ILS approach. So I'm gonna activate the radios for you. Okay. Do this thing. Sorry. That's alright. There you go. The radios are loaded. Okay. Alright. We are runway 33. We're gonna set this to 110.3. So you're gonna click that to transfer it over to make it live and you can actually spin this to 110.3. Like here you spin it to 110.3. Okay, click this. Yeah. This one? Yep. So we'll bring it over here. That will be live on your BFD. Okay, so what we have to do is test it out. Put the APU on. Pull it, pull it out. Okay. To start. Keep it there for three seconds. Now you see these lights go on? That's good. Let go. Okay. That means your AQ is on. When this light goes off, what I want you to do is put these two white light white buttons on. Do I have to keep it on too? Or? Yep. When that light goes off. Okay. Because it's still starting. There you go. Okay. So it started right now. Okay. okay. So what you want to do is cycle these and push it down. Perfect. Okay. And then flip this on and off. So you can pull it off. Yeah. And then push it back on. Okay. That's good. Uh, all these lights. Yep. These should be on. So you push it back on. Back on. Yep. Okay. These are hydros. This is the window heat. So you see how there's four windows here? Yep. Each one has one heater. So it doesn't fog up. So okay. you can see outside. So all I want to do is just put these two on and put these two on. Okay. These two yep. on and these two on. Okay. And then put these two on. That's the pitot heat. So what it does is that it heats up the pitot tube. Mm -hmm. The pitot tube is what senses the speed of the airplane. Okay, so that's on. I want you to put the hydroelectrics on, not the engine, but the electrics. You see one, two electrics. Yeah. Put these two on. This one? Yep. This one. Yep, perfect. Okay, so APU bleed is on, that's good. I'll turn on all these local lights, the ion wing lights. Alright, just get you in the video. Alright. Okay, looks good. Right. And then, uh, so that started. Yeah. Most of the stuff are, are good to go. We checked the lights here. You see those yellow lights? Those are warning lights, okay? So flight control is usually the yaw damper. So what I want you to do is just recycle it. Perfect, there you go. That should go off. Right. There you go. There you go. And then on the first officer side, there's a hydro. So you see engine one, engine two of the hydro pumps. There's a yellow light there, low pressure. Yep, turn it on. And the one on the right as well. That light should go off. All right. Right. Wait for that to go off. Okay. Now that went off. So now your plane does not have any more warnings. You don't, right. you don't see any yellow lights. Okay. That means the plane is ready to fly. So now what you do is you place that flat. Yep. Into number five. There you go. Okay. Uh, this is the throttle. Yep. That controls the speed of the plane. That's the speed brake, which we may use when we land, okay, when we do our approach. Are you familiar with the controls of the airplane? Uh, I'll look, yeah. I'll, I'll go through it with you, okay. So basically, this thing, you only use it in the air, okay? We do not use it on the ground, okay? okay. What we use to control the plane on the ground is the rudder pedals. Okay. So left and right, and they're a bit sensitive, okay? Okay. So use it very sparingly, okay? Uh, when you want to correct yourself so you stay on the middle of the runway, so just okay. use a tiny bit left and right when you're rolling. Don't use the A-Rons because when you use the radar, oh. your, uh, your wings okay. roll and it might hit the ground, right? Okay. So when I say V1, uh -huh. okay, uh, and then rotate, uh -huh. when, I, when you hear rotate, yep. you pull back on the column slowly and it will start to take off, okay? As the first officer, you're the first officer. You have to, when I say gear up, you pull that gear and go up, right? And then flaps up. Put the flaps back up to zero okay so we're going to take off and then we're going to do a circuit round you're going to follow there's going to be a cross a pink cross that will show up on your pfd this is your pfd okay yep. uh you just have to put that black dot 
in the middle of that cross. Okay? So this is your speed, that's your altitude, and that's your vertical speed, okay? This is the heading that you're flying right now, and this is the pink line is what you want, what I want you to fly, okay? So now we're gonna do one circuit around Pearson first. So whenever you're ready, okay, when you feel comfortable, I want you to push this to the middle. Okay, we'll look at those two and make sure they are stable. And after it's stable, you full push it all the way, okay? And you hear from wait for my command and say V1 rotate. Okay? Now the parking brakes already on or we'll start moving. Uh, they're off. Alright. Okay, so yep, they're off. All so right. ready? You can go. Halfway? Yep, halfway first. Halfway. Here the engine's cooling up, that's good. And then now, stable, full. Full. Officer, turn heading to left, 150. Yep. 150. 150. I'm trying to be as hands off as possible to give you the most experience. So 150. There you go. Now we're turning into a downwind. Call this a downwind. The airport is to your left once you're established on your downwind. Maintain 4,000, which you're doing good.
you see Lake Ontario in front of you? Yep. That's Lake Ontario. We're going to actually fly past it a bit, then turn our face. And when we turn our face, you actually see CN Tower. Am I still maintaining 4,000? Yep, maintain 4,000. We're going to descend on our base to right. around 3. So maintain 4,000 right now, which you're doing good. Easier. <laughs> Unlike the kids. <laughs> Just then it was like hard. Uh, I blame it on Grand Theft Auto. Okay, so whenever you're ready, right. first officer, you'll turn the dial to 060. 060. Perfect. And slow your speed to around 200 knots. Right there, you see that knob? That's your auto throttle. Yeah, that was the true speed to 200. And then change the altitude to 3000. Perfect. Do you see a tower right in front of you? All right. So now I'm going to show you a bit of. Uh, oh, got it. I'll show you a bit of uh, auto, uh, autopilot, okay? okay? So what you do is, first officer, you see that CMD right there? Autopilot, engage, that four button. This? Yup. CMD, what? press that hard. There you go. Now, you can let go of your controls. You see how the plane flies by itself? Right. This is called the auto, uh, autopilot system, okay? So basically what it does is follows your command. Here, 060, 3000 feet, so it's maintaining. 3,000. So if you wanted to go down to 3,000, what you do is just do altitude, vertical speed. So you go down at, well, let's say, 1,000 to be comfortable. So you'll actually see the plane actually going down slowly right now, right? So because we're tuned in to our frequency here, this is the LS frequency, what you do is you can click this and then actually turn whenever it, you click this. Yep. This will actually log on to the VOR. So when we're close to the airport, when we're in the right position, the plane will actually turn by itself into the wrong way heading, like, like now. Right. You see? It's like this. So this is all automated. Just like exactly like the real real plane. So after this is lined up, what I want you to do is press approach. What approach does is it, it also follows the glide slope now. This follows only the lateral. But this follows the lateral and the glide slope. Okay? So you'll probably see the runway coming up right yep. there. Okay. So the plane will actually level yourself up so it's right up, right on the course of the landing. Okay. So when this levels out, you want to press the APB, which is the approach. There you go. Yep, so press AP 
How the plane turns in by itself. Alright. Perfect. Okay, so now once it's lined up, I don't want you to use the computer land, I want you to land yourself, okay? So now I want you to disengage the autopilot by pressing this button. Okay. I want you to put in 15 flaps, gears down for landing. things more fun let's not land at Pearson all right. it's boring right <laughs> so what we're gonna do is we're gonna land at Dubai all right all right so I'm gonna load Dubai for you this is Dubai So this is a, like a real yes. cockpit. This is a real yes. yes. Actual airline pilots come into practice too with this. Wow. You can't get your rating, but they practice before they go get your rating. So it helps them prepare. Yeah.
first time I ever said it. In. <laughs> truth, truth be told, when I when I fly on simulators, I usually cheat and use the ailerons. So this is my first time actually using <laughs> rudder pedals. Yeah. Not only rudders. Yeah. <laughs> so I have to get used to this. So it's a big scenery because it's good graphics. It's one of the best graphics you see here. Wow. Oh yeah, it's better than my computer, definitely. <laughs> uh, basically, we have eight computers running this simulator. Wow. Yeah. So it's kind of like a hassle when you turn it on. So whenever you're ready, okay. okay, I'm gonna unpause it, and you're gonna do the landing. Okay. Okay. Ready? Go. Set the flap 15. Yep. Perfect. Okay. Uh, gear is down. Gear is down. Yep. All right. So I push down. Is that above the bike? No. Just. Oh. Yeah. Oh. No. You're taking the one on the right, not the left one. Right? Got it. So you actually a bit low, so what you want to do is, when you're low, yeah. you don't go up. Oh, just, just go up. Right. Just level. level. Stay right. at your altitude. So if you're at 1500, you stay at 1500. Mm -hmm. Until you see two white lights come in, then you start your descent. And to assist you a bit, you see that diamond on the right side? That diamond? Nope, that diamond right there. Oh, in the blue. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's your localizer. And the one on the, on the right side, uh -huh. that's coming down right now. You see it? Yeah. That is your glass slope, this one. Oh. This is your glass slope. Oh, okay. Okay, so it's good. So you're following that down, actually. Okay. So when it comes into your wing, yep, there you go, and you follow it down. Flaps 30. Flaps 30, oh, so you can put it to 30. That's 40, yep. Double check, gears are down. Gears are down. Okay, so you're a bit to the uh, right right now, so what you want to do is use a bit of left rudder. Left rudder. Okay, keep your wings level. Wings level. Yep. Right. There you go, and then let it, fly, down. let it fly past it, it doesn't matter. Okay. Once you fly past it, use a right rudder and you'll be banging on the rest okay. of it. So now it looks like you're flying past it, right? Yep. Okay, so le level your wings, yep, keep your wings level, and then use a right rudder a tiny bit. Right rudder a tiny bit. There you go, you see how it fixes it? All right. Now you, I want you to start descending now. Push down a tiny bit. Class 40. Class 40. Class 40. There you go. Okay, now let it fly straight. Now you're bang on. It doesn't look bang on, but it is bang on. Okay? Uh -huh. 500. Okay, so pull up a tiny, tiny bit. Pull up a tiny bit. Yep. 400. Okay, that's good. 300. Approaching minimums. Okay, so what I want you to do is Use a left rudder. Yep, yeah, left rudder. A bit more. Yep. Okay. Okay. Let it release the left rudder or keep it? Oh, okay. keep it. Keep it. 100. Keep it. Keep there it. you go. Pull up a tiny, I mean, there you go. 50. Rolling wings. Rolling wings. 40. Yeah. Ready? Yeah. Right rudder now. 30. Right rudder now. Okay, now pull up a tiny bit. Pull 20. Up a tiny bit. Let go of the rudders. Let go of the rudders. Level of wings. Level yeah. wings. You see? Yeah. So, first. So you, you, you activated the right one only. That's why it's pulling to the right. Yeah, you see? Oh, okay. So push it down all the way. Push the reverse thrust down all the way and then slowly. It's just halfway. Yep, there you go. At least I remember the rudder. Oh, there you go. That's good.
Okay, so whenever you're ready, right. I'm gonna press unpause. Just tell me when you're ready. Dad, ready? Ready. Okay. So I won't say anything until I need to say something. Alright. Alright. Here, Dad. Okay. Dad, So. Level. Okay, yeah. Give a bit of thrust. There you go. That's good. Leave it like at 60. There you go. So remember what I told you just then, right? If you're low, just keep your altitude and you right. fly into it. So what you want to do is don't go down yet. Pull up a tiny bit. Reduce the throttle. Like halfway. There you go. That's good. Now push down a tiny bit more. Yep. Push down a tiny bit. Reduce. One thousand. Uh, flat forty. Flat forty. Yeah. Okay. Now use your left rudder. Left rudder. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Keep it like that, and it'll fly towards the center. Yep. Yep, keep, keep going. Yep. And actually help it a little bit by using a tiny bit of better runs, not too much. Alright. Yep, help it a little bit. There we go. 500. Okay, now let go of the rudders. Let it go. Yep, and then use your right foot. 400. Right and help it a little bit with your right head run. Reduce your throttle to zero. 300. Approaching yep. minimums. Yep, use the aerons a bit. Okay, level your wings. Level wings. Level wings. Use the right rudder a bit. Okay, right now level rudder. wings. Pull up a tiny bit. 100. Yep, there we go. Keep it like this. Just 50. keep it. Perfect, perfect. 40. Okay, keep it like this. 30. Pull up a tiny bit more. 20. 10. There. Oh, nice. That's good, that's good. That's good. Hey, Dad, reverse rough for me. No, no, <laughs> no, no. There you go. Thank you. Power. That's good, you're getting there. Now, your challenge is to get it on the center. Power. Center line. You're landing. Reverse thrust close. There you go. Uh, flaps all the way up. Right. Once you finish this, we're gonna graduate and then we're gonna move on to Saint Martins. Alright. So Saint Martins is harder because if you're early you hit the water, if you're late you hit the hills. Oh yeah. And so you have to be <laughs> spot on and it's a shorter runway. Way shorter runway. And if you pass that too, you might be able to do uh approach into uh the old old Hong Kong airport. Oh man, that's gonna be wild. Yeah. These so, two, these two don't know it. <laughs> It's hard because you have to do a bank while you're landing, not a straight in approach like what you're doing now. Uh, so, okay, ready and ready? Let me ready know. Ready then? Ready? Alright.
try to incorporate everything that I taught you just then. Okay. I want to one thousand. I want to say at this point, Dad, can you put the flap to thirty? Yep. Remember, nice small movements. Treat it like a woman. Martens. Oh, 
Okay, so I want you to go down a bit. Deploying your flaps and deploying your speed brakes, gears, all those are drags. So whenever I'm high, I'm not worried. What when I'm low, then I'm worried. Okay, uh. so ready? Yep. Uh, gears up. Oh yes. Thank you. Flaps up. It's a okay, so you gotta push under and in.
Take off the uh, oh, new, off. new airport, all right, and fly to the old one. All right. That'll take around like ten minutes, and that'll be the last flight. All right. So I I, I know this by heart. Mm -hmm. So all right. I'm just gonna tell you what to do. Thank you, because the image of that. Uh Air China 747 into the drink kind of start flashing my mind around this point. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it's not lower. Should be at night. We're going to do a night landing. Alright. to zero. Actually five. We have five. Five. Yeah. Okay, so we're ready, ready just to take off. So full okay. throttle. Full throttle immediately? Yeah. Okay. Alright. It's really hard. Yeah. We 
We actually have a course just for this airport. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, stay in 2000. Got That's it. good. So turn left a bit now to uh, 090. Left to... Alright, so I'm gonna pause this. 